Day with JJK. Today is School Lunch Hero Day. We celebrate this day the first Friday of May to thank all of the women and men who work so hard to feed our school kids every single day. And if you're wondering how did this day become the first Friday of May? Well, I have up here a mass card for my old lunch lady, Jeannie. She's the person who inspired me to write the Lunch Lady series. Remember I talked about running into her and I was so surprised that uh, that she had a life at home outside of the school. And when I later learned how much my drawing for her meant to her, uh, it inspired me to try to create a day in which kids across the country could use their creativity to thank their school lunch ladies and lunch dudes. And well, I saw her birthday for Jean Carigla was May the 3rd. And so that first year we celebrated on May 3rd, which happened to be a Friday. And Friday just seemed to work out so well. That way you have the whole week to plan out. So I can't even imagine what Jeannie would think about all that's been happening since we started this initiative. This year it has been a legal proclamation by the state of Massachusetts, by the state of Maryland. Several other mayors and governors have have sent out legal proclamations proclaiming it School Lunch Hero Day in their cities, towns, and states. And it's all because we so appreciate, everyone appreciates all of the work being done to feed our kids, especially in this crazy weird time we're in right now. So we've been talking all week about the Lunch Lady books and how I write and illustrate, how I draw some of the characters. And remember, you don't, it doesn't need to be School Lunch Hero Day to share your thanks or make a creative art project for folks that help you. Well, today is Friday and we are brainstorming today. And I wanna teach you a game that you all can play if you're by yourself or with a friend or family member and you're just stuck and you don't know what to draw. Well, I'm calling this brainstorming in a mug. So what I did, my family and I, we came up with some ideas and put them on pieces of paper. One mug is filled with uh, just fruits and vegetables. The other mug is filled with superpowers. So I have no idea what I'm going to pull, uh, but whatever I pull, I'm going to make a character using those two things. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I don't look, I look. I didn't see anything. I swear, I promise I didn't see anything. All right, all right, what did I, what did I grab? What did I grab? Okay, apple. An apple that has the ability to have wind. An apple with superhero wind power. Totally bizarre, totally random. Not anything I would have ever come up on my own. So let me grab pencil and I'll sketch it out and there's this apple that has super wind power. Draw a little superhero mask. Some puffy cheeks. Superhero gloves, superhero boots.
Okay, there is our apple with superhero wind power. Let's make another character. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, one fell out. I'll use this one. Whatever this one is. This is a banana. A banana that. Banana <laughs> that is gigantic. A gigantic banana. All right. Gigantic banana. I have to draw some buildings for scale. This is a, a hero banana or an evil banana? I think maybe an evil banana. Because evil banana just sounds funny, right? Evil banana! We must stop evil banana. This looks like the work of evil banana. Since the character is evil, I'm going to give him sharp teeth. Evil giant banana! Wee -wee. Somebody must stop him! Evil giant banana! Evil giant bunny. All right, let's keep it going. The next character will be a carrot. A carrot that has super speed. Since that carrot is going to be running so quickly, I'm going to have the leafy part go flying back. There. Since this carrot is so fast, let's make some orange motion lines. And then also let's have some dirt and dust getting kicked up. All right, there's our super speedy carrot. Let's do it again, let's do it again. Oh, this is fun. Because sometimes you're just sitting there staring at a blank piece of paper and you have no idea what to draw. Okay. Bunch of grapes. Bunch of grapes that can fly. Bunch of grapes that can fly. Let's give this character a cape. I feel like if 
feel like if you're gonna fly, you're gonna want a cape because that just looks way cooler. Coming to save the day, it's Punch Grapes! Punch Grapes! Here to save the day, yow! Now, again, with the motion lines, let's, let's use some purple motion lines. And I'm going to have these motion lines come backwards like this, together, which will give the illusion that this character was far away and is now closer to us. Bunch of grapes! Bunch of grapes to save the day! Alright. More in here, let's go. We have a watermelon. A watermelon that has a watermelon that has firepower. So a big question is, is this a full watermelon or is this a slice of watermelon? I'm gonna go for a slice of watermelon because that's a more universal image that says this is watermelon. I'm going to have the character reaching out with their hands. Going to put some seeds as like little freckles there. Grab a red and orange and a yellow to draw the fire. Red, and then orange, and then yellow. Okay, let's do this one last time. And we have finally a piece of broccoli piece of broccoli that has super strength. Draw. Arms a little bit different, which is kind of creepy to have human muscle arms and human six pack on a broccoli. Yeah, this is looking pretty terrifying. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I feel like maybe, maybe the character should have pants, even though broccoli don't have... Okay. It's kind of almost like an Incredible Hulk type character. Probably because the Hulk is green and so is broccoli. That's what made me think of that. Let's just add some hints of green here. Oh, 
Well, I hope my drawing of a broccoli doesn't give you nightmares. I hope it doesn't give me nightmares. Well, let's take a moment to check in with those pugs for some pug cam. All right, thank you, Pugs. Now, one last thing for today's show. Uh, we don't have any special guests, and my kids are also busy with their schoolwork right now. But I want to show you what happens when you practice drawing over and over and over and over and over again. I've drawn this Lunch Lady character so many times. So many times that it's pretty much like muscle memory. I don't even have to much think about it. And every time I draw the character, it look like the same person, right? I'm going to show you how I can almost draw the character without even looking. I have drawn this character so many times in so many books at so many author presentations that I can almost do it without looking. I inevitably make some mistakes, but that's part of the fun. Yeah, that was pretty close. Maybe you can try your hand at drawing without looking too. Well, I want to thank you all for another amazing week. We're going to do it again next week. Have a great weekend. Keep drawing. Growing up, send in that artwork. I'm proud of all of you. See you soon. Please click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.